Hi friends, today I am so excited. I'm going to be reviewing Euphoria. They actually just launched a foundation, so I picked up their foundation, their pregame primer, as well as their OG blush oil, the one that changes colors. Yeah, I'm doing a full day wear test, and bear in mind, this is just a first impressions. This is the first time I'm trying any of the brand's product. Definitely stick around if you're curious about the new date night foundation from Euphoria. So I have just zoomed in because we're testing out Euphoria, finally. I ordered three products. I ordered their pregame primer, which Serene Wu swears by. She's gone through so many of these. And even though I'm not a big primer person, I thought, you know what, why not? Let me just try this out. I got their color changing blush oil, just the original one, because obviously this is like a cult product. And then I got their new Date Night foundation, which I'm super excited to try. I got the shade 315, which is a light medium to medium neutral. I am kind of tan in the summer. My face is a little bit lighter, but my body's a little bit more tan. So I went with a shade just a little bit darker than, I think their little foundation quiz matched me at like the shade 245, but I went a shade up and again, I am a neutral undertone. Yeah, this is my first time trying products from this brand. I will do updates on what I think about the products on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, definitely check it out. I am just Miss Libby Audrey on Instagram. My face is already prepped. I have a little bit of sunscreen on and then all I've done so far is just fill in my brows with some brow gel. Let's go ahead with the pregame primer. So this is a daily protective primer. It helps skin feels softer and more comfortable for irritation prone skin. Use three pumps daily as the last of your skincare routine to seal in skincare or as the first step of your makeup routine. That's what we shall be doing. Okay, right, so here is the packaging. Very pretty. I love the aesthetic of Euphoria. It has a pump packaging, so let's just pump some product out. Oh, cool. I don't know why I was expecting it to be clear. So I'm doing three pumps. So I'm pretty sure it's fragrance free, but it kind of does have like a little <laughs> bit of an unpleasant scent. I'm just a very sensory person, so this may not smell like anything at all to you, but let's go ahead. It's slightly runny as you can see. And let's just apply it. Goes on very smooth. I really love the texture. Ooh, it does feel super nice on the skin. All right, well that is my skin with just the pregame primer on. Now let's go ahead with the Date Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation. This literally just launched, I think on August 20th. They claim this is foundation you can sleep in and that's kind of like a thing with the brand, you know? The founder, Fiona, she really wanted to create products that you could sleep in. And even though like I definitely don't sleep in my makeup, I like that it's like something different. So it's like the ingredients aren't, you know, gonna be clogging your pores or anything like that, which I really appreciate. So let me get this bad boy out. Ooh, beautiful glass packaging. I picked up shade 315. Hopefully I didn't go too dark. Another beautiful pump. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do one side with a brush and then this side of my face with just my fingers. No scent, it seems. So let's go in, I have just a clean buffing brush and we'll go on this side. And I'm gonna use my mirror just to make sure. I feel like the shade match is pretty good though. I'm not mad about the shade match. I feel like you can definitely tell that this side of my face has foundation on, but this side doesn't. I think it does a beautiful job canceling out any under eye like circles that I have right there. I'm just gonna use what's left on the back of my hand to apply it with my fingers. I don't typically apply foundation and base products with my fingers just because I think it's a little messy, but I just want to see if the application would be any different. It glides on super smooth with the pregame primer underneath. I'm always nervous if products like pill or anything, so happy to report it doesn't. I'm gonna add a little bit more foundation. I'm really honestly not using very much because I do not like a very heavy foundation look. You don't need to use a lot of product. I'm just going to go in with my brush to finish it off because it's just so much easier than if I try to use my fingers. Alright, well that's the whole foundation on. I think it's a pretty good shade match. I might have been able to go actually a little bit lighter, but because my body is so tan, I did want everything to match, but the coverage is really good. I'd say it's very full coverage. This is definitely the most coverage I ever want, but I won't go in with any concealer. I just wanna see how this wears. Just gonna clean up my hands and my brush, and then we'll come back and we'll try on the blush oil. Okay, I'm back, my hands are clean. So now we're gonna try their blush oil. So this is a blush oil that reacts to your skin's unique chemistry for a soft glow. But here it is. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's a very iconic packaging. But yeah, let's try this out. It has like a, like a faint scent to it. 
I feel like it's like a, a red pepper flake smell. All right, it says dab two dots on each cheek and blend with a brush. Two dots doesn't seem like very much. All right, and I have a clean brush. Ooh, it's very pretty. It's very subtle, just a very subtle pink. I honestly can definitely go in with more. But I really like that shade. It's funny because I was talking with Dana Ripperton here on YouTube and pH products aren't really like color changing to your skin. They are still a base color. So the marketing is a little gimmicky, but I still think they're fun products. I'm a big blush girl, so the more blush, the better. I always do the blush on the bridge of my nose. That's a hack I learned from Sona, who's a makeup artist. All right, super flattering. I really like that shade. That's a good blush shade. I'll set this side of my face with some powder. I want to see how the foundation wears, and I will do a check-in at the end of the day. So I'm just using some pressed powder on the right side of my face. Hopefully you can tell that the right side has been powdered. So we'll see how the foundation wears. I do have drier skin and it's pretty sensitive. I'm just gonna finish putting a little bit more makeup just to have like a completed look and then we'll zoom back out. Looking in the mirror, the color match is really nice. So I think this is a good color match. I am curious if it'll like oxidize or change colors throughout the day. It is currently 128. So I have this light that like literally every <laughs> content creator has, but I'll just put it on the warm setting better lighting much more flattering i didn't apply any concealer and i think this is really good coverage just as a reminder i ended up applying both sides with the brush mostly i did attempt with my fingers but foundation is just too messy for me to apply with my fingers so honestly a brush is the way to go for me personally the right side of my face i did powder with some pressed powder i would do a check-in like i said it's 1 30 right now in the afternoon and I'll do a check-in tonight before I wash everything off. So far, my first impressions is this is a very full coverage foundation. You definitely do not need a lot. I would say half a pump, maybe a full pump, but even that just seems like too much product in my opinion. Primer feels so nice on the skin. Foundation and the blush oil layered so well over it. So I think so far, like this is a really awesome primer and that's coming from someone who is not a primer person. I don't really believe in primers, but this one so far, it's really nice. So like I said, I am in the shade 315. Maybe could have gone a little bit lighter, but I think this is fine. Usually I pick a foundation that's too light for me, so I actually prefer getting a slightly darker shade. And then the OG blush oil, which I really like, just has like a very subtle pink and you can super build this up, which I really appreciate. But yeah, I will check in tonight and let you hear my thoughts and then we can see how the makeup wore. Um, all right, I will see you soon. So it is 10 o'clock and I've had this on for nine hours. Don't mind my mascara just running. Basically, this is how the foundation has worn throughout the day. I don't think it oxidized or anything like that. I think it looks okay. I'm trying to like zoom in and like see if there's like a lot of breakdown and stuff. I also think I can still see the blush a little bit, which is really nice. This is a very nice foundation. I think I chose the wrong color. If you're a medium to full coverage person, you will love this, I think, and a little, little goes a long way. It blends up beautifully with the brush. It pairs so well with the pre-game primer. It looks pretty good, honestly, and the fact that the blush is still on nine hours later, I think that's awesome. I do really love the blush. So the right side of my face, I did set with some pressed powder, and then the left side, I didn't. Not sure I can really tell. I feel like it's all very <laughs> kind of greasy at the end of the day. My skin is dry, but I use a lot of like moisturizing and hydrating skincare and everything so that's probably where like a lot of my excess oils are coming through but i think that their quiz does a pretty good shade matching so i do regret not getting like a, a lighter shade but like i said this is definitely way full coverage i suppose you could sheer it out if you really wanted to but i think the intent is for it to be you know a fuller coverage foundation the one thing i didn't really like is the scent i know that's fragrance free but there was a scent that just lingered on my face for hours and it was very subtle but it's like I was just aware that something was on my face because I could smell it. I'm definitely going to be using the pregame primer as well as the blush oil 
that's already gonna be in my new daily routine because I love those two products. I'm really not mad about it. So if you've been eyeing the date night foundation from Euphoria, definitely check it out. So yeah, as far as my first impressions for Euphoria products go, love the pregame primer, obsessed with the blush oil. And while I think the date night foundation is a quality foundation, it just wasn't my kind of foundation. So I do recommend it if you are a foundation lover though, it just wasn't my vibe. Thank you so much for watching my first impression of Euphoria. If you ever wanna catch more updates on products that I'm talking about on YouTube, definitely follow me on Instagram. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm very excited and, you know, we're halfway there to 1,000 subscribers. So I do hope to reach that within the next six months. That's kind of my goal. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.